right, that's it. <laughs> I'm not waiting any longer. We have to do this. Okay, context. Intro. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ember. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well today. Context. Last weekend, I recorded the last two parts of the Super Long 17 Guide 2023, where I looked at the performance team and the vocal team. That is up on my channel now. They got put up yesterday. Okay, I edited them yesterday <laughs> and I put them up and I was re-watching, like as I was editing, that, that little 30 second clip of Jun's solo song, Limbo. Yeah, yeah, you know, the one that like floored me, speechless, still does, by the way. 30 seconds of that song I listened to, like two lines, no, like three lines max. It got stuck in my head. <laughs> it's been stuck in my head for like over 24 hours now <laughs> and it's just like two lines going round and round in my head but I can just hear the way that he sings them and I love the way his voice sounds and it's just it's driving me crazy guys I've just I woke up for the bathroom at like 3 a.m and the song was in my head immediately <laughs> So I've said to my friend today, I was like, I can't wait any longer. I need this song in my Spotify playlist. So I have to watch it. I have to just watch the whole song so that I can add it to my playlist. So because of that, because of that small preview of that solo song, today we are doing another video on 17. We are going to look at uh, not as many songs as I would like because my time is actually limited. I've only got like an hour. Uh, and normally I spend a good couple of hours doing these videos and then I try to shorten it down. So I've got a whole bunch of songs to listen to. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine songs to listen to, but I'm, I, there's no way I could do all of them in one, one sitting. So there's two songs, solo songs by Jun that I want to check out. The first is Limbo. That's the one that I've got stuck in my head. And then there's another one called Psycho that my friend thinks I should check out. Uh, I want to check out set the, the 17 song Don't Want to Cry, the one that in the preview, I think, the intro uh, video for the Super Long 17 guide, I heard like a snippet of it and I said I think I'd really like it. So I'm going to watch that one. And then if we have time, there's uh, some other songs. There's Oh My, Snapshoe, Home. Baksu, which it says clap in brackets afterwards. Kidult, I have heard Kidult, it is in my Spotify playlist, uh, but my friend wants me to react to it anyway. Uh, and I, I think I've only listened to it like twice. Uh, I don't bring it up in my playlist very often, so I don't actually remember how it goes, so I can definitely listen to that again. And then I was gonna have a little look at circles. Uh, and my friend has said about Circles, he said, have I ever told you there's a 17 song that I can't listen to because it makes me cry? It's called Circles. Woozy wrote it for Wanu when his mum passed away. Uh, I've only heard a small portion of it once and since then I haven't even been able to get close to listening to the full version. I've never found a song that is so sad that from a snippet of it I've decided I can't listen to the whole song. So that's terrifying to me, but I'm also incredibly intrigued. Um, so Circles is another one that I was like, maybe I'll have a teeny tiny look at and just maybe get an idea of what it sounds like. So yeah, we're not doing all of those today. Uh, so please don't get your hopes up. The description will have timestamps of the ones I actually checked out. But I definitely want to check out Limbo, Psycho and Don't Want to Cry. And then probably one of the others from that list. And I'll just pick one. All right, that is what we are doing. We're going into it. I'm starting with a limbo because god damn, I already know I'm going to love this song. And I'm I'm desperate. Should I really watch the music video? <laughs> Am I really going to be able to watch the music video? Well, yeah, let's just do it. I I just know I'm going to love this song and the for it's been stuck in my head like two lines over and over, so I need I need to just be able to spam the song. So, this is Limbo. Uh, it came out a year ago, I think it said. Yeah, September 2022. Let's go. This is by Jun from Seventeen. Listen. I've been looking for the love. I wanna hear your voice. Know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna go black and white. Very interesting. Yeah. 
It's the person that moves like water, right? Really good dancer. All right, this is the two lines that have been stuck in my head. Ready? That has been stuck in my head <laughs> for 24 hours. Lord of mercy. Pretty. I love how he sings that line. I'm obsessed with it. You are a very handsome man. Nice choreography, that's satisfying as fuck. Transition is so smooth. I think I'm safe, and then there's just waste out of nowhere. I love that song. I thought I would. I'm obsessed with it. It sounds so good. He can go like really low, like register, and then really high register. He's got really nice range. You kind of get a little bit of everything with this song. Definitely, my favorite line is the line that's been stuck in my head for the last day. It's it's the way that his vocal register does go up and down. Um, that is just really satisfying. I think this one at the beginning as well is probably my favorite version of it. Not just the way that his voice fluctuates with that last note and the way that his voice goes up and down for the line, but there's also like the, the movement he does with his hand. And then he's got like quite a mischievous smile. That? I'm obsessed with that move. <laughs> he... Like, my God. <laughs> you know who he reminds me of right here is like, remember when I first saw like the good boys gone bad kind of thing from TXT and then I saw Frost and it was that kind of like almost psycho, but like sexy psycho smile. This is the vibe that this particular like shot gave me. I was like immediately back in like the TXT Frost kind of performance. Um, the, the, you know, not the music video, you know what I mean, right? The sexy psycho one that we, yeah, we saw that. That's what this reminds me of. And it's, it's damn attractive. He makes this look damn good. It's a very good outfit for him too. And just in general, just my God. But this line, I'm obsessed with it because the when his voice goes up and down with each word, he, his dancing does too. Like he, he makes his body go up and down. And then, like I said, the way his voice fluctuates in that last word. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. Yeah, and then we get my death. <laughs> 
there's some very pretty shots in this too, like close-ups of his face. There was one right at the end where it was like just his eye and it was like so pretty. Where, how close to the end was it? Was it this one? Yeah, right here. This is gorgeous. The way that the eye makeup and then like you get, because it's like dark eye makeup and then you get like the bright, blonde hair coming down in front of it the contrast oh so good the lyrics as well the song in general is just badass it definitely gives off like a i'm tormenting you with my attractiveness kind of vibe no when he goes into the chorus and he's like you're stuck in my limbo or something like that and i was like fam i feel like i've been stuck in your limbo for the last day while this song's been in my head it's had complete control over me right i'm happy with that i can add that to my playlist i'm gonna be spamming this for days i'm obsessed with this song I, I have to admit, it was only last week that I recorded the 17 guide and I said uh, that I thought DK's voice was my favourite voice in 17. And re-watching the guides while I'm editing them, that is still true that he is, he's got one of my favourite voices. I love DK's voice so much. But I think, so far, I think actually John might be my favourite voice. It's got to be closely tied with DK. There's so much, like texture and flavor to his voice it's so unique he has such a unique voice i really love it i feel like if anyone else sung this song it might not have grabbed me the way it did but he just completely takes control of this song i, I just i love it so much and the fact that it is so different from his personality from what i've seen is uh is very interesting to me you get to see like how much versatility he has and like all the different sides to him, you know, it's it's quite nice. He's very talented. All right, we're going to see if that was a fluke or not, because you have got another solo song that has a music video called Psycho. This one came out five months ago. It's new. What is that outfit? Oh, pray for me. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I've not heard any of this song, um, so this will be a completely new experience. Let's go. I'm on a time crunch, so I'm probably... It's probably good for you guys. It means I won't waffle as much. Oh, we have dark hair. Nice. Waste again. You are a menace. Rhythmic beat. Cool dance, what? That look for him, this look, is insane. So is this look. He's dead. <laughs> the 
Damn. He's very cool. It's interesting to me that both of his songs are quite dark and sexy, <laughs> considering he was the, the person in the guide that was like, yeah, he's full of childlike innocence. He's basically a fluffy bean. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> you get all of this, you know, all of this. This choreography with the, like the shuffle. <laughs> So cool, no? The outfits were cool too. There were a lot of looks that really suited him. I think my favorite was when he's in the the yeah. And you guys know that I I like the chains imagery anyway. Uh, we've seen it in a few different groups now, a, a few different music videos. I really like the kind of the chains, the the kind of it is psycho, right? It's like the sexy psycho kind of vibe. Uh, I love it. I live for it. <laughs> it's great. So all of this, uh, this scene when he's in the box with the chains and he's got this look, definitely very cool. And there's several moments in this again where he gets that kind of mischievous smile, like, I know I'm unhinged, but I like it. And I think you like it too, <laughs> you know? Very, very cool. Solid. Solid. I think this man may be in the running to become my my seventeen bias. If I if I had to say one bias in that group, it's gonna be between him and DK at this point. I I I'm kind of living living for the Jun content. So yeah, he's definitely he's definitely got my attention. All right, seventeen. Don't wanna cry. Has a music video, six years old. Let's do it. I heard a snippet of this song in the intro to the guide and it sounded damn good. Subtitles? Nope. Pretty. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> that iconic high register that I'm used to hearing from you. Such a pretty melody. Was that Jun that I just saw in the black t shirt? Oh. It's hard to tell when it's like a six year old music video, but I've been trying so hard to learn them. Pretty vocals again. Ocean, pretty. It has some really nice choreography to this song. I really like it. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I want to say? <laughs> what I was thinking at the end here, or watching all this choreography? To all the people who thought this group wouldn't do well because of the amount of members it has, fuck them. <laughs> Because this is another group that I was intimidated by because of the amount of people that I would need to learn. And I've never been more glad to like learn more about them and get into their music. There's something about seeing the choreography with this many people that makes it so much more satisfying. And I was watching this going like, if there were like five or six of them doing this, it would be all right, but it wouldn't be anything special. But it's damn cool because they're all doing it and it looks amazing and they all synchronize. It's so awesome. Like, honestly, having as many people as they do is a strength. Like, all of this with the, the little cross. Yeah, see the amount of people to do that. They can do choreography that other groups can't because they don't have enough members to accomplish it. So it really is like a strength. I think I can still recognize some people, right? This is S groups walking under the the arch archways they're making. Um, I think I saw Jun, but I might be wrong. <laughs> That's Hoshi, right? <laughs> <laughs> this person is Joshua, isn't it? It's Joshua. It has to be. I'm calling it, that's Joshua. We got our, our woozy, we know woozy. Here, at the front. He's at the front, right? This person, this is Jun. Am I right? Am I right? Tell me I'm right. I feel like I'm right. No, maybe I'm not. Oh, I'm losing confidence real fast. <laughs> it's funny how I go from so confident to like, actually. <laughs> But I think that might be him. Um, Sun Quan, he's blonde as well. We, we I, Somewhere here. Might be you. <laughs> um, he hits some really powerful notes later on in the song. Um, so I'm I'm still picking up on some people, for sure, for sure. Uh, we saw Mr. Pretty Eyes. Uh, wait, who did that cool move? This move was really cool too. Right here? Yeah. Really nice voice that makes me think you're Joshua, vocal team, no? Yeah, this, Sun Kwon, for sure. The, the powerful note. Nice. I, I love this song. The melody is so pretty. When the chorus kicks in like that, I'm obsessed with it. And the choreography is so pretty as well. It's just a really nice, nice song. I think that's Mr. Pretty Eyes right here, right, with the blonde hair as well. Um, longer blonde hair. See, I'm I'm getting really good. <laughs> I'm getting really good. I I really like that one a whole bunch. It's definitely one of my favourites that I've heard from them in a while. That's going in the playlist. All right, we have time for one more, maybe two if I'm really quick. Uh, well, let's just pick one. Uh, let's listen to Kidult because I've heard of. I've heard that before, it's already in the playlist. Oh, maybe this isn't a good one because this one is performance video. You can see I've listened to the lyric video. Um, my friend sent me, it is this one, this this performance to react to. It does have three songs, uh, but we're just gonna listen to the first part and I can always come back to the other two. This is Kidult, a live performance, which will be quite nice because I've only ever listened to the lyric video. Really pretty set there on too. Oh, 
Really nice melody for the chorus again. I like it a lot. I'm assuming I shouldn't be having subtitles on, right? Yeah, that's fine. Nice vocals. Something was wrong with the audio <laughs> for the music. Local team always so impressive. I don't think I've ever seen Joshua with blonde hair. Like not that blonde. We've seen him with like sandy blonde hair, right? But not that blonde. Team. <laughs> They're insane. Pretty. Really easy to listen to a song and quite emotional too. There's just something really, really nice about it. There were a couple of points in this where, oh God, I forgot they're going to go into other songs. <laughs> that I was like, what's happening? <laughs> um, there were points in this where the audio was a little bit off with the music um, at the beginning and then kind of in the middle. But that that's not on our end. I don't even know if you'll be able to hear it, but that's not on our end. That's um, That's something to do with the video or potentially the... The performance i don't know <laughs> no comment no comment <laughs> no comment vocals were really really nice all around it's just a really really pretty song uh and i feel like this would be a nice one to hear live for sure like if you're gonna see them perform you know i like it it's good all right one more <laughs> let's go for one that i've i don't know anything about so that's gonna be between oh my snap shoe home back suit clap one of those. We'll leave circles for another day because I don't want to cry. Let's go for Oh My. That sounds quite fun. It's got an exclamation point. Does it have a music video? It does. Five years ago. All right, let's go into it. They're all sleepy babies. <laughs> Oh, this looks quite wholesome. They're all so fluffy. Nice vocals, man. Who was that? No, they're all in like a little court made out of the sheets and pillows. Cute. That's a cool look for me. <laughs> you see what I mean about choreography? Just looking so much cooler because there's so many of them. I love it. Mm -hmm. 
Got some more man glasses. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're really trying to be my bias right now. Such a unique voice, I love it. Aww. It's so awesome. <laughs> That. I did not recognize that person. Who is that? He looks so different. <laughs> Oh, what a good song to end on. <laughs> oh, DK is such a ball of sunshine. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love them. They're so wholesome. They're so chaotic. I love them so much. I am just, there's something just about anytime they do anything synchronized as a group, it looks so cool to me because there's just so many of them. It can be the simplest of things. This dance at the end was so cool. Potentially my favorite part. <laughs> It's not only really happy and just fluffy and wholesome, kind of giving like the the same vibes as like the second chorus of God of Music, right? Just like so happy and positive. But it's really clever too, because DK is done. Um, this is DK, right? He's dancing the entire time. And the first, like the first run, he's dancing with these people. And then the second run, he's dancing with these people. So like one half of the cross gets up at different different points. So it's really clever as well. Uh, th it's just wholesome. It's fun. It's my kind of music. It's happy. I I love it so much. There's some people I definitely don't recognize because this is quite an old song. And I was like, wait, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? I think. Am I right in saying that this is Jun? <laughs> if it is... He definitely try and be my bias. His voice is so, so nice. If I'm not, I could be wrong. It could be one of the others. I'm not sure. But that's just a really nice vocal line for sure. Really nice voice. It's like, it's a high register, but not like in the same way that I mean like Woozy's high register, right? Like it's just a, a naturally very pretty voice without having to be too high register. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Really, really smooth, but there's just something really interesting about it. So I like that vocal line a lot. I think it might be Jun, but I might be wrong. And then, yeah, we get the vocal team slaying, <laughs> as always. Really, really nice. This is the kind of music that I love to see from Seventeen. It just puts you in a good mood. It makes you happy. You can just vibe. You know, I love it. It's great. All right, next time we can check out Snapshoot, Home, Baksu Clap and maybe circles not all of those have music videos i don't think um oh and we could watch the the rest of that performance video the other two songs are fallen flower and fearless uh, so we could watch those as well as always if you have any more requests for 17 songs or 17 content you can use the form in the description box to request a reaction video to it or if it's just something you think I should check out in my own time then you can just leave a comment and let me know as well and I will I will come back to 17 they're definitely on my radar a lot at the moment anyway that is it for now I will see you guys in the next video bye